Well, by this point, you've probably seen the dramatic video, a man being tased 11 times by Glendale police. 12 News has obtained the personnel records of the officer who fired the taser. Team 12's William Pitts has been poring over those documents and a new allegation that calls into question the entire reason for the traffic stop. We're learning Officer Matt Schneider had multiple violations in his personnel file. And there's also now questions about whether or not he actually saw the traffic violation that kicked this whole thing off. There are four incidents in Officer Matt Schneider's personnel file. The first is the taser incident that's since become famous, apparently over a turn signal. 11 shocks, but only one the department found was unjustified. The second reprimand is less clear. Schneider was suspended for a day for workplace harassment in June of 2018. The letter of reprimand mentions a female officer who was subjected to a hostile work environment. Schneider was accused of being insubordinate, bullying, and making inappropriate comments. Then there's something called the chair incident, but there's no explanation of what that was. In July of 2008, Schneider was suspended for a day for destroying personal property. It was evidence in a case the county attorney decided not to file charges on. Whatever the personal property was, Schneider was reprimanded for destroying it against policy. And in March of 2008, Schneider was suspended for one day for not following orders. The records show he was playing with a pocket knife and was told to put it away. Another officer hit Schneider to get his attention and cut his hand severely. But the entire reason for the stop may not have been completely accurate. Could cops even see that the turn signal wasn't on? We traced the route both police and Johnny Wheatcroft took. And according to Glendale PD's own investigation, it's likely that Officer Schneider was here when Johnny Wheatcroft pulled in. And you can see there's no way for him to see the entrance to the Motel 6. Here's the surveillance video from Motel 6. Wheatcroft is in this Taurus. It's already pulled in the driveway and Glendale PD is nowhere to be seen. It's almost a full second until the Glendale patrol car has a view of it. Investigators did the same test we did, lining up their car with where Schneider's patrol car was. They concluded it's unlikely that Officer Schneider could have seen them turn into the parking lot. But the department appears not to have followed up on that. Glendale PD never responded for comment. William Pitts, 12 News. All right, well, thanks.